Did you know that balanced hormones are necessary for good health? Well, today we have the founder of BioT, medical doctor Gary Donovitz, to talk about how to age healthier, live happier. I think this is so appropriate right now with the new year starting. It's the new you for the new year. I like that. How are you? Welcome back. Thanks. I'm doing great. Well, good. We always enjoy you're here, and I want to get this right because I know we're going to dive into a topic talking about optimization, which is different than replacement hormone therapy. Explain, kind of set the table for us. Well, you know, anybody can do hormone replacement therapy or they think they're getting their hormones replaced. But if you don't get your hormones optimized, you're not going to feel your best. What we want to do is have you feel your best no matter what your age. So therefore, if you could feel your best and have your hormones optimized, now you can do great things for yourself in the short term. Feel better, more energy, sleep better, better sex drive, better sexual performance. Hey, lose weight. That's one of the things everybody wants to do after the new year. I'll say that it really is a perfect time that we're talking about this that checks off a lot of the goals and I know a lot of times we focus on women so let's go ahead and, and share the spotlight first talking about women how can you benefit women's health and of course all the things that you had just said there well by optimizing their hormones most people don't even think about testosterone but women start losing testosterone in their mid-20s so once you start optimizing early instead of waiting for menopause now you can protect the brain the heart the bones and the breast hey you can even reduce a woman's risk of breast cancer so significantly by starting testosterone early. That's a major benefit. Why develop Alzheimer's disease or dementia or have cognitive decline when you can absolutely prevent that by keeping your hormones optimized? It's not just hot flashes. It's about getting your hormones optimized early so that you feel your best and prevent a lot of these long-term diseases in women. Interesting. And I like that you use the word protect. Right. About starting early. I think that's pretty fascinating. And of course, we're talking about women. We got to talk about guys too, because so many times you think of hormones, and I think your mind does go to menopause in women, but you're saying, no, 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 guys need to think about this too. Guys do. Guys start losing testosterone in their mid 30s, and they're at risk for diabetes, Alzheimer's disease, fractures, heart disease. Also, that this will help protect them. Hey, we're coming up on Heart Month, mm -hmm. February. Mm -hmm. And so you got to start thinking do I want to protect my heart? How could I protect my heart versus just doing disease management and taking pills? to not just treat your heart disease, why not prevent it? Because it's the number one killer for men and for women. You know, you're talking about starting early and, and protecting is there kind of an age bracket or when is the time to pick up the phone and really kind of start thinking about these kind of things? For women who are having depression and mood swings and not sleeping well and gaining weight and low sex drive, you start in your 20s, I'd get my lab tested. Men in their wow. 30s, very wow. similar symptoms. They don't sleep well. They still have anxiety and irritability. Their brain starts deteriorating where it's like, I can't remember things. And I'm gaining weight across the midsection. All those things. They say, you know what? Get your hormones tested. Find a provider that can help you and get your hormones optimized, not just replaced. I like that. Now I'm really seeing the optimization as you described and how key that is. So we've been talking about all the things that people can do before they get their hormones optimized. Let's talk about the reaction you've had from some of your patients. It's been life changing. We've had people on medications come off their medications, people who were diabetic who then were not diabetic any longer and were able to come off of those medicines, which then also protects the heart because diabetes is a risk factor for heart disease. So those people, again, can come off their medicines, come off your antidepressants. So many people are on antidepressants that don't need it. So for me, it's about as you get older, staying off drugs so that you feel better and improve the quality of your life. That's what we do. Okay, doctor, I'm gonna throw this at you because it seems like obviously, you know, you're so passionate about what you're doing. You're so passionate about helping people. Are hormones underrated? They're underrated because people feel always focus on the risk. They don't focus on the benefits. Hmm. And if you think about it, hormone optimization is really a very low risk proposition at all. And there's so many benefits. And so if you think about that, people have always been scared to take hormones mm -hmm. because they've been all told they were, they were dangerous. But what if they weren't? Well, what if they caused cancer? But what if they didn't? And so doing hormones the way we do it with little small pellets, we actually have reduced the risk of breast cancer, not increased it. So, so many men, women worry about that. So many guys have heard, oh, it causes blood clots mm -hmm. and heart attack and stroke. But what if it didn't? And the way we do it, there's actually no increased risk for heart attack, stroke, or blood clots. It's actually beneficial to the heart. Good stuff. Well, if you're interested in learning more and, and want to talk to the doctor yourself, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Go to biotmedical.com. Find a provider near you that can get your lab work done for you, do a consult, and get your hormones optimized. This has been so educational, as always, doctor. Thank you for coming in and talking about Thanks this Thanks for today. having me.